Lee Gilmar, thank you for joining today. Nice to see you as always. Yeah. Uh, when I started uh, this project here of interviewing um, folks at QuickBase from around the org that are former customers, you were one of the first people that popped into my mind because not only have you been at QuickBase um, in two different roles in customer success and consultancy, uh, but prior to that, you were a customer at more than one um, customer account. So thank you for taking the time uh, and I'm very excited to meet with you today. Um, can you describe to us what QuickBase was like the first time you saw it? Um, mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, so the first time I saw QuickBase was almost a decade ago. And I was working um, on a construction site uh, in a job site trailer. Most of what I did was Excel all day in, day out. And we, we, were, we wanted a new tool. We wanted a solution. And what we had with QuickBase was just dramatically different from Excel uh, to me because all of a sudden I had far more control and customization but I could then uh, leverage security elements and governance and so many more tools that we just never had um, back then. And But QuickBase was very different back then. We didn't have dynamic filters on every report. We had them on only the table homepage. We, we didn't have university. We didn't have... Um, we didn't have automations. We didn't have pipelines. We didn't have uh, all these integration tools. So there was quite quite a bit um, quite a bit different uh, view and look back then. Sure. And what were some of the you know construction is one of the oldest industries in the world, and it's probably notorious even for not uh, evolving as fast as some other industries as far as technology goes, right? What were some of the main uh, problems, challenges that you were looking to solve when you first started using QuickBase? One of our, one of our biggest uh, headaches was trying to track our pipe. Where is our pipe? Uh, they, we were a mechanical contractor, so all we did was uh, manufacture and generate pipe and install it. And we couldn't find where it was. And every time we'd lose it, uh, lose these custom fabricated pieces, we'd have to re um, build all of those in a fab shop, have them shipped out, and that just caused a ton of time, uh, delays, and then of course money. Um, and so our major uh, task was figure out where is our pipe within the process, start, um, and then also where is it physically, and is it installed, is it not, is it tested? All of these things played into can we build a customer for money? So knowing where your pipe is, having it installed, having it properly tested, all equates to getting money faster. And so it was a dramatic uh, shift for us instead of just pen and paper, word of mouth, and walking around and looking uh, was the old tool that we had. Sure. So it sounds like time to value, like literally ROI value was was uh, of pertinence here. Uh, what other what other, uh, you know, immediate uh, realizations of value did QuickBase bring to you folks when you first uh, implemented it? With, uh, and actually we had a, another company because I, as you mentioned, I, I had worked for three different companies building QuickBase apps as a customer. One of the other companies I, I was at immediately was just, we built a safety uh, reporting app. And the safety reporting app was uh, daily job walks. We walk around we used to write down all of the problems that we saw um, that would likely need to be addressed. And that would go from one physical piece of paper to a pile, and that pile would never be utilized in any capacity. When we built the QuickBase app, we were immediately able to get that information in front of the appropriate parties. We were able to reduce accidents. We were able to use that to help us with our change orders. So we ultimately were making things safer and we were finding ways to, to, to make more money effectively. When, when we show that, hey, there's a problem here, uh, we will help mitigate it and we can get that change order signed and agreed and so on. Sure. Now you had mentioned um, you know, that QuickBase has, has evolved and there's new product features and offerings that weren't, weren't in existence back in you know, uh, over 10 years ago when you first uh, started working with QuickBase. Um, as, a, as a customer builder, uh, what comes to mind is some of the the biggest aha moments and some of the biggest uh, 
developments on the platform that that really enabled you to bring your QuickBase instance to the next level? Oh, I, I feel really bad saying this, but it took me many years to understand report links. Just for whatever reason, it took me forever. And we didn't have university back then. And so I, right now, constantly uh, broadcast if you, if you haven't seen QuickBase University, you have to check it out because there's just so much information to help fill in those gaps. Um, for me, I'm primarily self-taught. So there's a lot of things that I don't uh, really understand. So I have to go and uh, watch tutorials or, or see something in practice. And figuring out report links for me was one of the biggest ones. And then I ended up getting to talk about it in an Empower. So something that was a, a huge deficit years ago um, again, with all the tools that QuickBase now provides between the university and the training and so on and so forth, I could, I could finally figure out that, that, that topic. Sure. Thanks for that. And you came, uh, first time I met you, well, I, I knew you as a customer a little bit, but when you came to QuickBase, that was like beginning of 2019. Tell me a little bit about what, uh, what brought you to QuickBase and what kind of work you, with customers you were doing then. So the hopping from company to company to company and constantly saying, God, they just need, we just need to build them a quick base app and we'll solve a whole bunch of problems. Eventually, uh, my, a, a good old buddy of mine, Jacob McIntyre, uh, he had recently joined QuickBase and he said, look, let's stop, stop working for other people building apps, just come to QuickBase and, and build apps. And, and so it, it really did. I never, I never thought QuickBase would be a career opportunity. I just, uh, I was delighted that I was able to to join the team. Sure, and you know, uh, it's hard to know what you don't know. But you know, in your journey as as a customer builder, and now you're on the other side of the fence, working, um, you know, on these customer projects and uh, implementation as a consultant. Um, what do you know now that what you wish you knew way back then, way way back when you were you were just putting your eyes on QuickBase for the first time? Definitely the the we we toss around these adages all the time, but like the don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Um, just getting started, just getting an app up and running, and just iterate from there can be a world of difference. Um, whereas a lot of times I was met with resistance, which is people would say, "Don't build, don't work in that. Just wait till something perfect comes along." and this perfect software solution. Uh, the, the issue I kept finding was that our process changes. There will never be a perfect software out there if we keep changing our process. And so to wait for the next Microsoft offering or some other large, uh, whereas if we could just start building what we want, and the faster we start building, the faster we get some value and then flush out those process issues where we can change our mind, but we now have something to work with and can keep iterating. Sure. Now that's that's what you know now, but that now, also kind of answers my next question. What what bits of advice do you have for new customer builders or or people who have been working on our platform for as long as you have? I both in my customer success and my my consulting roles at QuickBase, I'm very, very much learning that everybody's learning style can be very different and unique. So if you, if you find QuickBase is hard or confusing, or you're not sure exactly where to, there are other ways to learn about QuickBase. And, and so like we talked about fundamentals training with instructor led, that's great. Um, hands on just getting in and tinkering. That's the way I like to learn. Um, but also we have communities and groups and I've been a part of, I've been a part of company run user groups that we as our individuals, uh, created and we would use each other to talk through ideas. Um, so, so it's that not to be discouraged there, there's ways to get, get to the, to, to the end goal. Sure. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great. Thanks for that. And, um, my favorite question to ask on these these uh, these meetings and interviews is how would you describe QuickBase uh, to someone who's never seen it before? Someone you're meeting at a uh, a barbecue or party function, they ask you what QuickBase does, why you work there, why you support it. What are you saying? 
it's a it's a fun question and i've changed the answer almost every time i've answered it because what i end up doing or what i how i end up using it always changes um i've been dubbed the guy that can use quickbase to build any um productivity sucking uh uh, app, which is I, I build silly things like um, office pool uh, gambling uh, or like uh, fantasy football type apps or whatnot. So really, I try to help people understand QuickBase as a tool can be used to do nearly anything. Um, it, but you having to figure out what it is you want to do. And then uh, that's the, the fun of scoping and, and creating in QuickBase. Sure. And, I can try to help them understand like the, um, if you have an idea, we could probably build the app right now in about 30 seconds and get the framework and structure and, and talk through it. And, and that's sure. usually where the conversations go. So there are, um, there's so many different, uh, offerings now when it comes to citizen development, low code, no code. These are kind of, um, common phrases and, and buzzwords we hear on the enterprise IT stack now. Um, what would you tell someone asking to understand what makes QuickBase a market differentiator? What makes us better? The di the way I've tried to describe the differentiator is that there there are quite a few options in which we you can make QuickBase extraordinarily locked down and secure, so you can apply IT governance and make sure that. Changes are only deployed um, in in schedules and after rigorous testing. But I also, you know, the flexibility of if your business process doesn't require that, you can enable the end users to make those changes as quickly as live, and and to be able to sit in a meeting while people are making comments and questions or. Uh, commenting on on the app structure and saying, God, it would be really great if we actually had this thing. For me to be able to make those changes during the meeting and say, what about this? Is this what you want? That is the differentiator because a lot of the tools in that stack don't have the governance element that feel and, and react very nimbly like a spreadsheet, but then are lost when it comes to a lot of the security and the data integrity elements. So QuickBase to me is that that perfect Goldilocks scenario of enabling people without strapping them down too hard to, to where they can't make any changes or, or, or in impacts. Great. That was an awesome answer. I appreciate that. And uh, Lee, thank you so much for taking the time today. And I, for one, am excited to watch what you do with the next 10 years of your QuickBase journey. Thanks, Neil. Appreciate the time. Yeah, you bet.